A lot of focus on what is fiscally possible, I suppose, from this government and from any change of government, if that's what we get after the next election. We've got an interesting story citing some research that talks about a, a real headache in terms of spending requirements for the UK government ahead. It's not good news, Anna. It's not good news for taxpayers because the only way to fix this, and, and this is according to the think tank, is to actually increase taxes. And this is just to kind of maintain uh, spending at current levels. So the UK, the next UK government, uh, will have will need an additional 142 billion pounds um, by a year by by 2030 just to keep things going as they are, and that's not including the additional investments um, that uh, is needed in terms of health, education, infrastructure, benefits, and pensions. So there's a lot more. Um, how is the UK essentially going to find this money? Mm. Uh, and the only way to do this is essentially to raise taxes. So it's not going to be a popular government either way. Yes, absolutely. And there were already taxes already at a post-war high. This is according to research from the Centre for Progressive Policy, we should say. Um, let's get to the UK housing market mm. story of perennial interest to everybody in the UK who watches, yes. homeowners or not. UK house prices then gaining most in over a year. As, as stability returns, that, that seems incredible. It's, I think it, this is one data point, right? It's one month. Um, it's very surprising. I mean, the expectation was for a decline of 0.4% um, and prices actually rose 0.9% uh, in October. What's essentially happening here, Anna, is that there's there are so few transactions mm. um, that you're not getting that forced selling uh, in the market right now because people are still coping with these higher interest uh, payments on their mortgages and a lot of people also own their homes outright, so they don't need to sell. They can, they, there's, there's no impact from higher borrowing costs. Um, so the question is, is stability actually returning or are we going to get kind of a, a steeper fall uh, further down the line when we do finally get that impact from higher uh, borrowing costs and maybe a bit of forced selling? There's a little bit of caution, I think, in this report. But good news, right? I mean, mm. the fact that the, we're not seeing a steep drop shows resilience, at least in the domestic economy.